Hey guys, so I just wanted to come and check in with you guys with this bad boy. This past weekend was White Coat Ceremony, which was the most exciting, rewarding, best moment of my life so far, probably, yes. It was amazing. It was simply amazing. Friends and family came into town, celebrated with my wonderful classmates. And I'm just so happy. I'm so thrilled. And so basically with my school, we had two exams prior to me receiving the white coat. And I'm about halfway through the trimester. So I felt like it was a great time for me to receive my white coat. I really felt like I earned it. I was two exams in, two practicals in. So I felt worthy of it. But at the same time, um, it being halfway through the trimester, I feel like when days get hard, because they will very quickly. Um, I have something to remind myself of Throwback Thursday, Flashback Friday of the moment of receiving my white coat. But I haven't been able to check in as much as I would like because the scheduling is very crazy and I'm trying to become more efficient and get my time management skills up. But I wanted to come in and basically speak about my experience thus far and what I'm finding. And what I am finding so far is that it is very easy along the way to get, one, discouraged, two, um, distracted so much with your studies that you may neglect relationships that you have with your friends and family and yourself, you know, not being able to work out doing other little hobbies that you may like because you're trying to get acclimated to school. And so one thing I have been trying to do is just reminding myself that I am Felicia before I am a student physician um, just because I have to be able to take care of myself, enjoy my relationships with other people because that's what I really love, my family and my friends. So I have to maintain that to have a happy Felicia to then be a happy student physician. So that's something I'm currently working on as well as getting adjusted to school and the workload because it is a lot. It's not hard. I don't want to say it's hard. It's the volume of things that are hard. Um, getting adjusted to having a million and one things thrown at, thrown at you simultaneously and trying to find your groove. And so I would say that's one of my biggest lessons right now, just finding my groove, finding what works for me, um, constantly talking to professors, constantly talking to classmates, figuring out a way to tweak my study habits. And that's something I would recommend to everybody, constantly figure out a way to make yourself better. So if you hear a classmate is doing good in this subject, that's not your strong suit, you need to buddy up with that student talking to professors so they know you and they know that you're trying and they can also share resources with you. Um, I've met with a few professors and they've shared resources, tactics that I plan to implement. So that's been very helpful. Um, another thing that's been going on, I would say, is um, figuring out what works for you. So with my school, we can choose to go to class or we can choose to use the recording. So for me, what I've found, even though I've tried to mix it up a few times by going to class and not going to class, I find for me going to class works because it just keeps me on schedule. You need me to be here. Okay, I'm there. And I don't really have to play that much of catch up later on. That's what I'm finding for myself. And I'm an auditory learner. So I learn best by hearing things for some strange reason if I... <laughs> If I read something, I have to read it over and over and over and over again to, for it to make sense. It just takes a while. And when I hear it, it just clicks. Um, another thing to keep in mind, because I feel like a lot of people think this. I think even some of my classmates think this and my friends. When you go to class or if you go to the recording, do not expect to learn everything in that one sitting. And the reason why I say that is because I think sometimes we get so caught up, like, oh, my God, I missed something. Oh, my God, I don't understand what the teacher just said. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. And it's okay. Like, we're learning a lot of things at once. And so if you are that amazing person who can just suck up information as a sponge right away, that's amazing. You're going to do great in med school. Kudos to you. But if you're not and you're the typical med student, there are things that are going to be going over your head because this is all new information, and that is fine. That's why you get to go home, study, and review the things that went over your head. So overall, I just want to say be completely patient with yourself. This is something that is a new process. It's going to take a while for you to just, just be kind to yourself. Be patient with yourself. 
you're going to make it through. If you have questions, concerns, help, you're doing okay, but you still want more help, seek out the help. Seek out who can help you because we're all in this together. And we need to learn how to work more collaboratively because we're in a collaborative field. And so we need to practice the things that we want to be or aspire to be once we're actual physicians. So if you plan to be that physician who has a life outside of the hospital, outside of your private office, whatever that looks like for you, you need to start implementing those things now. You need to start balancing your life now. Easiest said than done. I'm still learning, but this is why I'm here, to help you not make the same mistakes I'm making or just sharing the tips that I get along the way. So I believe that's everything. Um, also, feeling discouraged. So, I feel like it's inevitable. At times, you're going to feel discouraged. The thing, the key thing that I'm learning is do not stay there. You feel a little sad. You feel a little discouraged. For whatever reason, maybe you study for an exam, your grade isn't as high as you wanted it to be, or your grade does not reflect the amount of time that you put into studying. That's fine. Experience your feelings, but do not stay there. Move forward. That's all you can do because there's going to be a lot of things that come in our path that might be a small obstacle, and we need to just get up. We need to not stay knocked down. And so, honestly, remind yourself why you were here in med school because it's so easy to get in a place of, I don't know why I'm doing this. This is too hard for me. I need to go. Everybody else seems to be getting it, and I'm not because everybody is struggling, even the person who claims they're not struggling. And everybody has a strength, and everybody has a weakness, and it's your duty to find out your strengths, your weaknesses, so you can strengthen your strength and strengthen your weakness. Because all you're supposed to do is get stronger. Because that's what's going to happen. You're going to get stronger throughout the process. So I feel like that's all my tips and drills so far. I feel like so far time has been moving very quickly. I have another exam in about a week and a half. So yeah, got to get to the studying. But I just wanted to come out and, you know, show off this new bad boy white coat. It was amazing. Thanks. <laughs>